For those who are uninitiated, what is the Penny Stamp Distinguished Speaker Series? You know, give us a little bit of background. Who started it, why, and when was that? Well, the Penny Stamps Distinguished Speaker Series was actually started by a woman with the name of Penny Stamps. Uh, yeah, not just a great name, but a great woman. Uh, and she basically, you know, she was an alum of the University of Michigan, and she wanted to give back to the university, specifically to students, to be able to create a way that they could, uh, you know, have some kind of connection to creative people who were successful out in the world sort of outside the walls of academia. So, you know, real creative practitioners. She was a graduate, I should say, of the art and design program. Uh, and she was a designer herself. Um, and so, you know, we started, I mean, I think when she started sort of coming up with this idea it was in the late 90s. In the early 2000s, we actually sort of formalized the program, took it outside of the school and off the campus and into the community because there was this kind of this other idea then that, Actually, it's really about building all kinds of uh, connections and, net, you know, everybody, when you build your network of people, it's sort of like your, your access in the world and, and your sort of, you know, opportunities to open doors and have success are based on making connections and knowing people. And so we wanted to even go beyond this idea of bringing, you know, these great successful uh, creative practitioners in for students to meet, but get them acquainted with the, with the population around them, the geography of this area, the incredibly interesting and vibrant fabric, fabric, sorry, uh, a dynam dynamic uh, people that we have that are creators right here that they could connect with too. And then it's sort of, you know, it works as a feedback loop because it's also really great for all of, uh, you know, our folks in the local community, they get to be part of that loop too. How do you decide who's going to participate or who's going to be a, a featured speaker? So, you know, we're looking for people that fit the tenor of the moment. We're looking for, you know, I, we also want to put together a season that's very uh, dynamic and eclectic in that I always say not every single program is for everyone, but there is a program for everyone within every season. So, you know, if you don't like, you know, what we have this week, come back next week because it just might be the thing that changes your life, you know. Um, so we really like, you know, I try to go for, you know, an eclectic mix of media and people and ideas and perspectives so that, you know, we are kind of trying to, I mean, each of us gets an opportunity, right, to understand more about other people and their viewpoints in the world around us and then also find those moments that really resonate with us and go oh yeah you know that's 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 really stirring my gravy uh, also in that we have coming up quickly actually ken burns and isabel wilkerson uh talking about race in america i think that is going to be i we just had a production meeting on that last week and that is they the two of them together talking was just so exciting what was it that steered you towards having those two have a conversation together. That whole genesis of that idea came from a program that was from the Penny Stamp Series archive that we uh, streamed this summer in our streaming partnership with DPTV. This was, and I, I think it was in, maybe it was early July. Yes, because I think we did it, it was around 4th of July. And we streamed a program uh, that we had done Quite a few years back now, uh, where we where we hosted uh, Bill T. Jones, the choreographer and dancer, Bill T. Jones, who's just a dynamo, uh, and this was specifically a moment where he had uh, created a piece about Lincoln, and uh, he gave a talk about the creation of this piece and and this you know really interesting sort of struggle in his own mind that he went through in his relationship with Lincoln in creating this piece. Um, and while I was watching this, I was like, wow, you know, I'd really like to get Bill T. Jones back to talk. And wouldn't it be interesting to have something about, you know, the role of the presidency, you know, sort of looking back to this time with Lincoln and what's, you know, what, what does that mean to the role of the presidency now? And that was sort of the beginning of the genesis. Through further conversation, I mean, I had then a number of conversations with a lot of different people. We had a lot of different ideas about who the people that would be in that conversation um, would be. Um, and it was actually, and Ken Burns had come up at some point and I immediately got into a conversation with him. And then his biggest desire was to speak with Isabel Wilkerson. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, we're gonna get her. And then we did. 